multiple red light violations that we're doing. Any reason why we're driving like that? What do you mean, what? So we have a subject that's waving a gun around uh, 1060, brandishing a weapon inside Mirror Park area. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some law enforcement with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the SAHP division. Uh, we're going to be using the 2016 Tahoe. This is actually going to be the first time that we're doing uh, LEO with snow. So I decided we're definitely going to need to use some SUVs here for the start. Obviously, we'll use any car in the end, but uh, try to get as many SUVs and the start. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can get into. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a supervisor request to start this off. 840, I think it was. Yeah, it was 840 Carson Avenue. It's going to be a uh, civilian request as well. And uh, he said it was for a minor traffic collision. Um, for some reason, the Civ is calling a uh, supervisor for some reason. Not sure if it was a LEO versus Civ uh, TC or whatnot. But I guess he's getting a little antsy. So we're going to head over that way. I got to admit, though, with the snow everywhere, these lights stand out a lot more. Like, they're just much richer in color, which look really good. And we were just attached via the cab right there. All right, we're going to be arriving. They did say Carson Avenue, so it's going to be right up here. Uh, I believe I see them all. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate. Uh, I got room to fit up there in the front. I'm going to have you in route for the supervisor for motor vehicle accident. No PI. It's going to be at 840 Carson Avenue. 1 King 2423. Let's see what this guy uh, wants. What's up? All right, so do you want my version of the events first or his? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I was heading off a grocery after a shot spotter um, activation. I was stopped at the car, you know, stop sign and uh, the snow, I'm assuming. He couldn't slow down in time and kind of gave my little my rear bumper there a love tap. You can kind of see damage on it. It's not too, too damaged. Um, his vehicle's not that damaged either, so it wasn't like a hard hit or anything. It was maybe five, ten miles per hour, if anything. Okay, did he request it, or was this just for the TC? Uh, it was just for the TC. It's LSPD. Uh, okay. How you doing in there? I'm good. You been better? Yeah, I was, uh, I, I looked down, and I look up, and it, I just saw a Tahoe ta tail lights. I was like, oh, I tried to let break some that. Okay. Um, Gosh. you're not injured or anything? No, fine. No, okay. So probably a good idea to probably pay attention if we're going to be in the snow. Our reaction time and also our stop distance is going to be drastically uh, lowered, okay? Okay. Yeah, my traction um, is so fucked up in this car. Well, maybe we want to get that looked at. Have you checked his information? Oh! I have not. He, haven't, he hasn't handed me anything. So okay. So since there was a traffic accident uh, with everyone, we're just going to take your info. We're going to run it so that way we can put it in our report, make sure that there's no wants, warrants, anything like that. If there's not, we'll go ahead and get you out of here with a simple, uh, you know, report for the traffic accident. So that way you can have it for your insurance and then we can have it on our side. Is this going to be drivable or you said it was on the on the bad side? That's just traction. Okay, just traction. Yeah, probably a good idea to get that looked at. I'm going to pull out a uh, penny here and we can see how your tires are looking. So we're going to put me puts penny in tire to see if it's lower than Abe's head. Say what? I said, is that the trick your teacher taught you to use? I don't know. Did your teacher teach you how to fucking check tread on tires? Is that what you learned in fourth grade? No. You should learn that. Yeah, should you? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, for what I'm seeing here, you're definitely going to need some tread. You're going to need it real quick. I could give you a uh, unroadworthy vehicle ticket with the tread, but I'm not going to do it. You've already caused an accident, so I don't need you going around breaking any more of my cars, okay? Yeah, there's a Hayes Auto Body Shop on our uh, left. Oh, we'll go there. Okay, you're gonna go there like right after, right? Okay. How are we looking with the stuff? It's all then. Yeah. He's good. Okay. All right. Um. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead. We can cut you loose then. You want me to? You want to hand me his ID back? I can hand it to him. Yeah. 
Okay, like I said, just pay attention for me, okay? We don't need to break all the police cars in one day. All right. All right, here's your license. You're free to go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to watch you drive over there, so uh, get over to that body shop. Fuck no. I am talking to you. Okay, I'm going to get a incident report for you. I know. It's like puffy. All right, so I'm going to get this guy a officer-involved uh, incident report with his vehicle. I see around like a donut. Is that it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give this guy his report, then I'm going to be back on. He's in the middle of two lanes. You know you're in two lanes there, right? Oh, I'm not. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> You're a fucking moron. I can't see. And you call yourself the police? <laughs> That's funny. I fucking hilarious. You would think this is one lane with the train. You'd think you'd be able to see the white line that you're sitting on. I can't, unfortunately. Uh, clearly. So I want to say that this guy possibly just didn't stop at this uh, red light here. And I think this DPS guy might be lighting him up here in a second. They pulled out of the Vanilla Unicorn parking lot and then made a very quick uh, right-hand turn there. When that uh, SUV went on that right-hand turn in that bike, did they stop or did they just go the, through the it? The guy in the bike there? Yeah. Uh, it didn't look like he fully stopped, but I wasn't going to... I got nothing else to do. What the fuck? Now I just got to find this motherfucker. Where'd he go? Right now, where'd he go? Fuck me. It was a guy with the orange fucking uh, top there. Didn't stop fully at a uh, red light. Son of a bitch. They was rolling with someone else too, but I don't know where the fuck he went. Southbound Strawberry Avenue 83. Motherfucker. He rolled. The, the thing that why I wanted to do it, though, is because he did it right in front of two fucking cops there. Like, multiple cops. That's why I wanted to have a chat with them. Let me see if I can find Spoonbill. I can let him know what I'm looking for here. That way he can keep his eyes out, too. But they're definitely in the area. I think he's sitting here on this corner. Monkey 24 copy. Um, just keep your eyes out if you find him. Let me know. Uh, I'm looking uh, for a the bike with the orange red jacket shirt. or like or, a orange yeah. red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought he ran the light. Like I he looked did. behind me. I didn't see him. I looked behind me. I saw him. I looked back and I didn't see him. The light was red. So. Yeah. He, uh, uh, when he left that strip club there, he just California rolled to stop. I asked that DPS guy if he did. And he's like, yeah, I wasn't going to mess with him. And I was like, yeah, well, there's nothing else to do. So. Exactly. But I don't know where he went now, so... He All said right. he saw him go down Vespucci and then lost eyes, so I think that's behind us. Okay. So I'm gonna turn around. I think it runs east and west here. Okay. Yeah, he went, uh, the DPS guy went the other direction you're facing. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can attempt to find that guy. Um, he know what he did there, and he probably tried to evade, but on a very light scale. Uh, he has to be in this area, though, so I'm going to keep my eyes out. If we can't uh, locate him, obviously, I'm not going to go on, like, the biggest manhunt ever, but hopefully we can come across him uh, just normally. Copy, I'll be around. Okay, so someone has him right here. So, 834. He probably didn't know what vehicle we were looking for. It is a guy that has a orange jacket, so he's going to be pretty easily identifiable. But uh, like I said, when he rolled through that intersection there, he just tapped on the fucking brakes. Okay, so it should be 834 here, most likely at the uh, Strawberry Avenue, he said. Interesting that he got back over to this location. Oh, here it is. King 24 uncompliant. Monkey 24 23. So this guy's being uncompliant. 
Negative. We're good right this second. Don't. What's going on with them? Uh, he. I the, the snowballs are away. The snowballs are away. Why are we I playing with snowballs, anyways? He was gonna throw one at me. Okay, take your keys with you, you and come over here. To? We're gonna just step on the curb. What did you uh, stop him for? Turning violation, got off the vehicle, and then red light violation. Okay. So I'm looking for you for an looking alternate reason. When you came out of the uh, VU there, you kind of just tapped on the brakes and then rolled that right through the you intersection in front of multiple uh, cops. So on top of that and what you're doing with him, is there a reason why we're driving the way we're driving? I was being cheese possibly, but I don't know who the fuck it was. You were what? Beating cheese? <laughs> That's what I heard. No, be, I heard be, being what? Being chased? Yeah, being chased. So, By who? I sense a little. I I ain't got a I ain't got a clue. Um, was yeah. it a was so it the guy that left the VU either before or after you? What was he driving? I can't remember. I just know you left the VU and then a, a vehicle left just after you out of the same alleyway onto this road. It was a white vehicle. That's all yes. I was able to see. Oh, so it was a four door, right? The sedan. I think so. I saw that car earlier. So I why, just, were, why was, would he have been chasing you, though? I don't know, but I was going like... I'm going to incriminate myself here, but I was going like fucking 70 down a road, and I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking... He was like right up my ass the whole time. I was like, what the fuck? This guy's chasing me. Okay, I don't think you really can incriminate yourself when you've ran two red lights uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah. did you give your license to this uh, LSPD guy? He did. He owes it. Okay, let's and get him ran. paperwork as well. So we'll get you out of here with some citations, but you need to be paying attention to how you're driving yeah. because it was well, you you did that in front of like multiple cops at the intersection there. Mm -hmm. So I would assume if you see us, then that's not the time to be stupid, you know. Come on, fiasco, hurry up! Hey, we don't talk about oh. my pigeon like that. Oh my god. Okay, so god damn it, wrong car, son of a bitch! Oh, I almost got into the wrong car. All right, we got this motherfucker. So this guy is. Uh, traveling at a high rate of speed. We're going to go ahead and try to catch up to him if possible. Um, he's in like some old school fucking clown car. Oh, so it uh, looks like Spoonbill has eyes on him. We're going to try to keep up with him secondary. I don't see him. Is it fleeing? Oh, I think he's fleeing. Does he know he went down here? All right, he stopped 872 South Davis. I say we five him. I say we just five them out. All right. Uh, hold the air for COVID. Copy your so. You want me to do commands? Sure. Okay, driver, un turn the keys off, step out. All of the passengers Hello? inside the vehicle stay inside. Hello. There you go. Keep your hands up, face away from us. Oh. You're going to walk directly backwards, okay? There you oh, go. What's happening? It's all right. We'll explain it. What's happening? Am I in trouble? Yeah, uh, obviously. So go ahead and back up. I'm gonna keep telling you to back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Stop. Whoa. Okay. Hey, stay right there. You have anyone else inside the vehicle? No. Just yourself. Yes. Okay. Am I in trouble? I, like, did I not just say that I would tell you in a second? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Glad we established that for the second time over. Can you get on your knees, please? My, All right, my, LSPD, my you can go ahead and clear left side. I'll watch yeah. you from back, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Right now you're being detained for further investigation, understood? I have no oh, idea why okay. they were traveling so fast. Okay. Multiple red light violations. Okay, you're clear. Um, what happened? You dispatch. One zero two oh my one. Anything on you? Traffic stop. Okay. okay. No, nothing. Eight seven. Okay, twenty four. We're code for you. Can live there. I'm like police. Search me. Okay. So why are we driving the way we're driving? You dispatch. One zero two one one. Traffic stop. Davis Avenue. Eight seven. She's probably responding to what? stuff in the chat. Yeah. What do you mean what? How dare you even answer like that when you were just caught going over excessive? Did you catch her on the radar? I did. What'd you get? 
103. So stand alone, your your speed is enough to bring you to jail. I'm late for a flight. What, what does that even mean? What fight? The flight. Oh, a flight. Okay, I thought you said a fight. Yeah, no, a flight. Cool. Okay, so speeds are 103, so I can tell you that detain is going to be moved up to a uh, arrest. So you're being arrested right now for your speeds, and you yes, most sir. likely will get some other charges, as in reckless driving and stuff, okay? Because that was where you understand it's snowing, right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so why do we think it's okay to go 103 down the... What the fuck? Yeah, take your pig ass inside the pen, you weirdo. Do you try to... Okay, put a... Uh, I don't know. I got a spit mask like a just in case, yeah. Someone searched the vehicle already. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. I think he cleared it. Hey, if you try to bite me while I put this on you, you're gonna get another charge. You're just gonna make yourself even later to the fucking flight. You understand? Okay, all you gotta do is keep your head still. That's all you have to do. All right, this is a very simple thing that I'm doing. No, keep no, your head no, still. No. It, I don't care bad. whether it's bad or good. Is this going on your head? All right, well, now she's knocked the fuck out, so... Okay, your medical's rolling up, so I'm gonna take off from here. That way I clear myself. Good luck with her. Ah, yes, thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, well, good luck. That, that oh, yeah. Okay, so we're taking off from this scene. Every oh god, medical is gonna oh, be taking a hot oh, minute oh, if they're going that direction. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, so we're gonna take off from here. Everything. Uh, she's awake now, so that's a plus. She didn't knock herself out with the cage, uh, but I guess you know, if you don't want to answer questions, that's the best way to do it. Just knock yourself out really quick. Uh, we're gonna be 10-8 available. That guy blatantly just ran a red light. Clearly, he didn't look behind him to double check if there was a LEO officer. I swear to God. When the snow... Two. Literally two. He clearly knows. Are you really just going to keep going, bro? Really? Two red lights? Okay, I got to get this on the uh, radio here. That is the darkest window tent I've seen in quite some time, to be truthfully honest. I literally can't even see through it. It's just a black screen. All right, I got to try to get this on the radio here. Monkey 24, 10, 11. King 24, standby. Okay, so we're going to be on a standby really quick. I need to get up to this guy's window. Here we go. 840 Roy Lowenstein Boulevard on a two-door blue Challenger. Occupied. Unknown. No, 32. Okay, let's see what's going on with this guy. Damn, that wheel depth is all sorts of fucked up. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, That's what's going on? Oh, just stopped you today for the multiple red light violations that we're doing. Any reason why we're driving what? like that? What do you mean, what? What do you mean, what? What do you mean, what do I mean, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Right in front of the Mega Mall, when you're making the right-hand turn, you did tap the brakes, but you didn't stop. And then the second uh, right-hand turn you made once you got past the uh, train thing right there where everyone loads the train, you again, you didn't even tap the brakes on that one. You just ran through it. I'm a good driver. <laughs> okay, well, you could you could still be a good driver and still run red lights. That's fine. You got a license registration insurance on you? Yeah, I got you. Okay. We just out today, just decide to get in the car and run red lights, or what are we doing? Uh, I mean, I don't know red lights. Okay. You're, just, you're gonna stick by that? You know it's not that big of a deal. It's just two traffic citations, right? I mean, do we have to be citations? I mean, if you're gonna sit there and lie to me, yeah? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's not live, and it happened. It's, uh, well, well, I know, I saw, I know what I saw, but it would just, you'd think you'd cop to it if you know I saw it. Uh, okay, well, that's sure fine. All right, that's fine. You can just stick with it. I'll be right back, okay? It won't take too long. I try. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this guy's information is coming back as. It's gonna be, uh, Ezekiel. There it is. Yep. All right. So Ezekiel Jonah, um, he is going to have a few things here coming back to him. I'm going to open them all up, see what we got. Guarantee this is going to be it right here. Okay. That's just going to be his regular like ID, his state ID. This is where his uh, license would be in here. And we do have an approved valid license, driver's license. Um, coming back to the same male that's driving the vehicle. And vehicle registration, we're going to have on a 
coupe is what it would be. Let's see what his plate's coming back as. I think it's Jonas 16. I can't see out of this fucking thing. Yeah, so it's going to be Jonas 16. And we'll open that one up. Jonas 16. And it's going to be valid on the vehicle Dodge Challenger Blue and Color 2016. Jonas 16 license plate. Everything's good on that. So this guy's going to be receiving a citation today. Traffic citation. And it's going to be Ezekiel. I don't know how to spell that unless I look it up. E-Z-E-K-I-E-L. Jonah. Oh. Go ahead. Help if I uh, typed it right. Okay, that's going to be our subject, and we're going to look for Jonah 16. Yeah, Coop. See, it's actually really simple to, to add that stuff in. So this is going to be red light. Red light. And we're going to add another one, which is also going to be red light. And we'll finish out the rest here once we get done with them. That way we don't keep them around for too long. That's probably the same amount of time it took on the old cat as well, too. All right, Ezekiel. We're going to get you out of here with two red light tickets, okay? Two of, well, you did run two red lights. You know what I mean? So, okay. If there would have been a school bus full of children, you would have killed them all. I think you would be thinking differently about this. But obviously well, you didn't really? kill anyone. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not at the end of the day. Sign the bottom. It's not in Michigan. Let's see you take care of this in court. Take care, have a good one. We might have a call right now. I'm unsure what exactly is going on. Oh, fuck. Walking 24 on route code 3. So we have a subject that's waving a gun around uh, 1060, brandishing a weapon inside Mirror Park area. So since we have a gun-related call, we're going to go ahead and head out to that Code 3. Uh, we have 1168 that's really close uh, since he was on that other call that we were just at, which was a traffic stop, probably didn't even make it in. Uh, we had a third unit that was called out on it, but um, I did not see... There we go. Okay, we're going to be rolling up here. I'm going to deactivate lights. We're going to go completely blacked out. That way we have the element of surprise on the uh, individual that's Which possibly waving a weapon. Uh, Medicaid, what was the location of the trailer car we got? Yeah, I don't see anyone. 571 is going to be... 1K24, same traffic. I don't see anyone. Uh, they possibly might be inside of a house. King 24 what's this in relation to? Uh, it's gonna be a brandishing of a weapon at 571. Oh, copy. Uh, I don't see anyone. I'm gonna check call details here if you can cover me so I'm not just exposed. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe inside, well, not inside one of the houses. We're in Lincoln 277. 277. Okay, so white male. It's gonna be a oh, white maybe. male, gray hoodie, black Lincoln, pants, waving gun outside. Gun is in a a gun is a handgun. Five seven one Nicola place, right? Uh, can yeah. I have you both en route to eight four eight? Uh, Strawberry behind Avenue. the bushes or it's behind the house. Five seven one Nicola place. Uh, uh, we can just get out and check and see shirt, see if anyone is back there. Again, it's a uh, white male, gray hoodie, black pants. Bag of water softener in a plastic bin. Subject suspicious. I'm on call. I just want. Okay. Yeah, it could be the whole court though, so I guess if there is a gun, we'll separate and see. Wait, down here, down here, down here. At the end. Hey, stop running, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck? What are you doing? Yo, stay still. Away from me. Okay, why? Yeah, sure just stay oh still. Do me a favor and stay. Do you have a gun on you? No. Are you sure you don't have a gun? Yes. Are you positive you don't have a gun on you? Yes. Did you have a gun at one point? Sure. No. Okay, why are we getting calls saying that someone is uh, brandishing a weapon out here? I don't know. You tell me. I, I'm, that's why I'm asking oh. you because you match the description to a T. 
one well, thirty in the morning, notice. it looks kind of sketch, you know. For a man so I'm making top ticks. Leave me alone. I see that you're doing something over there. You mind if I pat you down and I can put my gun away? If I just pat you down, verify you have no weapons? Uh, okay, if that's the case, go ahead and step against my car here. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. I don't want you to hurt us. That's why I want to pat you down for weapons, you know? So, okay, you said you're making TikToks. Did it involve like a fake gun or something? Uh, no. I, well, I was doing a dance. Okay, you can turn back around. You were doing a dance. I, I'm, I, that's yeah. why I'm confused on why someone would call out that you have a that you have a handgun, and they were very specific about what they called out with too. I don't know. The people around here don't really like me, so. Why would that Relation be? Relation? Do you have the com uh, to this community? Why have you got your hand on your gun, you fat piece of shit? Where, where did you part? Put your yeah, hand I parked down. in the road, uh, down the alley over there. Okay. What's the relation? Uh, you want to go okay, out? You want to go across the street and look around and see if there's anything that uh, we should be concerned about, or? Yeah, you're, ste with, you're stepping on a phone right there. now. I believe that maybe okay. his may have dropped everything. Scared the shit out of him. Okay. All right. Well, if you want to get that and then see if there's a weapon, maybe his phone will look like a gun. Where are you getting all this information from? I don't know either. Sir, someone told us we wouldn't just make it up. I don't know. What's your name? Okay, well, don't what's your name? Because you. right now you match the description of the person that was supposedly waving a gun around. You said you had your phone in your hand because you were doing talk ticks. We find a phone over here near the bush. You're here. You have no gun, but you match the description to a T. You're the only one outside in the court. Well, I have my lighting set up and stuff. I, I, I saw. Well, you were setting them up, like, after we got here. So you were doing no, something else prior. Well, I saw that's you put lie. one down. No, that's a lie. Can okay, I, well, can I have your it's name not so a I lie. Can... It's just what I saw. So my name is Liam Blashnikowski. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to some uh, neighbors here to see if we can get a idea of what the hell went on with this guy. Okay, so I got an idea of what's going on here. I'm gonna talk to him now since I have a little bit of the story. I think this might not be our guy, even though he is matching him to a T. Okay. So, sir, so you do you do have a valid uh, weapons license? Yeah, but I'm a felon now. So. Okay. Well, from what this neighbor is saying, that it it's not the guy. We're looking for someone else. Mm -hmm. So. Why did you ask her to put the phone in the bush for $20? Well, because otherwise she wouldn't let me put the phone in the bush and I needed to get a good angle. Okay, so that was so you could continue filming your stuff. Yes. Okay, so at any point did you see a, another person that somewhat matched your description walking around in the area? Mm, no. Did you at any point see a person brandishing a weapon? Well, I mean, I was doing this. I can show you what I was doing. Go ahead and show me. That's fine. Okay, so at some point it probably looked as if you were holding a weapon. Maybe. Okay, case solved. We can go here then. Okay, so probably a good idea if you're going to be a superstar in your neighborhood, maybe you go around and tell people that you're going to be filming this stuff so that way they don't assume you're brandishing a weapon, okay? It just would be better Nobody on your end. Me. Okay, well then in the end of the day, no one's going to like you if they keep seeing the cops roll up and then they just leave, so... Yeah, better to better to be safe than sorry. So just do that be. for us, and then that's fine. Sure. Okay. If that's the case, hand this man his identification back, and we can get the hell out of here. he never gave me his. Okay. Have a good day, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Can you learn how to? It's Blashnikowski. So it looks like we had a mis uh, misinform we were misinformed here with this. Uh, a neighbor got confused. Okay, I'm gonna take off. I'll let radio know that uh, it's clear. Okay, so we're, we're code four here. Uh, nothing that we have to worry about. Looks like it was a misunderstanding. They thought it was a weapon. It wasn't a weapon. And then so on and so forth. So I can clear it once uh, dispatch is uh, open for me to do so. Oh, goody. Jesus Christ. I, okay, so I knew I heard explosions. So it looks like Spoonbill's going to be out on a uh, firework call. I'm going to be en route to a possible jumper. And uh, I'm not sure what bridge he's going to be on, but I'll let dispatch know that I'm 23 and route to that. Hey, firm, it's going to be the same guy. I have him with over on the long term. Okay, 24 dispatch. I'm in route to that call. 
stop you once you're pushing in route that call. Okay, so we're going to be, again, attached to a possible jumper that's going to be located on a bridge. You know what? Chances are it's probably going to be this one. So let's see if we can locate this guy. Or is he going to be on that side? Let's see. 742 is going to be... I don't know where he's at. No clue. The postal is 742. Okay, go to the other side and look. That other bridge over there. Get you to one king two four. Apparently, according to my nine one one caller, but caller wasn't very compliant. They stated that that towards the interstate five on one of their bridges uh, at the intersection of interstate two and interstate five. If that helps you guys at all. Bobby, we could uh, we'll refine our search area. Eleven forty. Eleven forty. Okay, so. I guess oh, that might assist a little on what's going on. I'm going to attempt to go down here. All right, we'll go to yours. I'm going to try to go where I think, since I have no idea at this point. So if I'm going to the right location, they said Interstate 2 and 5. So if it's 2 and 5, it would be possibly down here. And he's, like, sitting on one of the freeway bridges. I see a semi-truck stopped right there. Well, they're going now. Thank you. Let me see if he's up here by chance. Hold on. If I could just get tabs on where the hell the guy's at, we can at least try to get him assistance here. I got the, uh, I got the, uh, the uh, there anything specific I need to do with them? Who exactly? The guy that called in about the uh, missing person. I have no idea. I'm looking for a possible jumper. Yeah, that, that would be the missing person. So he's inside there? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll go in there right now. Okay. So I guess the possible jumpers inside the parking garage. I was pretty damn accurate, though. I guess with what I was looking for here. I don't think this is the subject that I'm looking for. It's not the subject you're looking for. No, because another officer just called out a possible jumper on seven somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but I'm not sure what this guy is or has going on. But I don't think he's related to what I'm looking for. I'm the husband of a. Oh, I see. So we found the person that we're looking for. So if that's the case, you're going to need to just hold on until we can get him down or them down. And then we can let you know, okay? Okay. I'm going to head over to where the person's at. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so they got the uh, eyes on the subject that we're looking for who's a possible jumper. We have the spouse of the person who is jumping inside the parking garage here. So all the pieces are starting to come together. We're going to be able to get up to this uh, possible jumper here really, really quick. And uh, we'll be able to try to talk him down. I'll say that we have, um, you know, contact with their spouse there. That way it kind of gives them some hope on what's going on. I just got to attempt to locate where in the holy fuck that they're at. This is a absolute mess of... Uh, so I think I need to get up on this thing right here. Yellow. Hey, so that guy that we were dealing with the weapon? Yeah. At uh, Mirror Park, he's a felon. He's a firework launcher. He was shooting it off right like, in front of me, like up in the sky. But So I saw him shooting it. Is that legal for him to have as a felon? Or? I don't think a firework launcher would constitute as a weapon. Okay. Um, obviously, it could be used as a weapon, but it's not a weapon. Right. You know what I mean? So. Right. Well, I don't I think that would fall weapon, under... So. Yeah, but did he? No, no, no I'm just saying then anything I think could it's be used clear. as a weapon, so that would make sense of why it's Yeah, not I mean, unless if he had a banana on him, that could be used as a weapon, right. but I don't think that that's going to do anything, so... It's more of a fire on you. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, bye. Okay, so I managed to get on the uh, freeway here. Uh, Spoonbill was just asking for a clarification uh, on a... If a firework launcher would... Uh, constitute as a weapon that a felon can't have and definitely not just due to the fact that uh, oh there we go unless this is unrelated uh yeah unrelated it's that same motherfucker bro <laughs> it's the same guy that's been stopped all day okay we're gonna be 23 
Monkey 24, 23 at the uh, possible jumper. Okay, so it looks like they're getting assistance from uh, well, I mean, uh, an investigation blood, unit that really can try to like right talk now, them right? off the ledge. Yeah. Obviously, they're Except having some the, difficulties right here. Position, you know, and so we'll have to let them work it out. You. It'll be a lot of talking, fair, so we're probably going to skip some of it just because that's going to be a lot of talking going on. Monkey 24 dispatch. There's plenty of units here on uh, 724. I'm going to be 10 8. Okay, so they got plenty of units here. We would just be standing around at this point, so we don't really need any more officers on scene to assist with this. Uh, that unit's going to have to sit and talk them down for quite some time. I'm glad we were able to locate them instead of just being like totally lost here. That has yellow lights on the front. What the fuck? Hold on. I'm curious. Oh no, it's red and blue. It just looked like it was Amber's for a second. Oh, that was weird. The DPS car. Okay, so we're going to be uh, Code 4 out of here. I'm actually going to find a location to do an outro uh, due to the fact that we've been in game for quite some time. i got to transfer over to a uh, another department here. Probably some LSPD up in this bitch. No better place to end the video than on the freeway with the highway patrol. Uh, but that's going to be where we wrap it up. Definitely a decent episode. Nothing too crazy, but we still had those opportunities to kind of race around the map. Had a lot of people driving reckless, which we were able to intervene with. Uh, which was kind of nice. So nonetheless, thank you so much for watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.